Kokanee salmon are pretty popular these days with anglers for a bunch of reasons. So it's important they have opportunity to catch them. Now in its second year, a Wyoming Game and Fish Department effort to produce kokanee in-house from a captive broodstock again collected enough kokanee salmon eggs to meet department objectives. Tillet Springs Rearing Station near Lovell hosts the only active kokanee salmon broodstock program in the United States. Back in February, I spoke with Tillet Springs Superintendent Brad Welch, who explained the program was a response, in part, to the growing popularity of kokanee with Wyoming anglers. They've got more waters in Wyoming where they can actually go and catch a true salmon. And then you add to that the big push with, you know, so many things today about eating healthier and, you know, healthier sources of protein. And salmon are always listed right at the top of that as a real healthy, good source of protein to have. And it's, it's drawn some people in that way. And then you throw in the third thing in Wyoming, some of our kokanee are reaching some real trophy size. Game and Fish stocks nearly 1.7 million kokanee annually in Wyoming waters. In the past, fish culturalists spawned kokanee from the wild, but egg production was inconsistent. So the department created a broodstock program, mature fish of three to four years raised in captivity for breeding purposes. After five years, the first full spawning collected over 2.8 million eggs. This year's egg take was down from last year, but still enough to meet department objectives and continue the goal of consistent kokanee egg production, something kokanee anglers will like here. We're gonna, we're gonna make our numbers and it's, that was the important part, we'll be able to get the fish raised to the size that they need to be. And that's, that's real key to any time you're taking eggs is that you get the fish hatched off and get everything grown to the size that the managers request. There's a lot of demand from the sport fishing public for kokanee salmon. A real big advantage for us in here is that it allows us with this um, captive broodstock, we can we can protect them more and we can hopefully be more consistent with the eggs so that we know we'll make our commitment each year. These eggs were taken to Dubois Hatchery to eye up the eggs. That's when eggs change to where a set of eyes can be seen. Then they'll be off to Dansby's Hatchery near Casper for raising and eventual stocking in places like Lake DeSmet near Buffalo, Flaming Gorge and Fontenelle Reservoirs in southwest Wyoming, Rob Roy Reservoir and Lake Hattie near Laramie, Alcova and Pathfinder Reservoirs near Casper, Boyson Reservoir near Riverton, and other waters around the state. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.